Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're back out working on the car. So the things I have to do today, the troublesome cold start valve. This is the original one that came off the car that I've uh, cleaned up for a, for a while and uh, we're gonna see if it might work. If not, then if you had seen my video from last week, you have seen that there was a nice surprise in the parts bin that I had uh, available that I've not checked for, <laughs> obviously, since I'd owned the car. And I have a spare couple of cold start valves. So if that one doesn't work, then I will try one of these to see if that solves the issue. Also, one thing I do need to get done is G48, which is the antifreeze and uh, coolant mix for cars which it says pre-96 so apparently specially formulated for those uh, those types of setups so it's for Porsche and a whole bunch of other German vehicles so got to get a coolant change done so I'll walk uh, walk through that on this video as well so anyway let's get out there and uh, get this uh, this work done okay so let's try and get one of these two working the cold start valves which need to fit into the top of the air manifold just got a bit of tissue there and that's uh, you can see the fuel line that attaches to it so let's get that uh, connected and see if one of these work and maybe we can get a cold start done on the engine Okay, so we're connected up. Let's see if uh, my cleaning helped it find a new lease of life. Let's try it. Okay, so that one did not work. I cleaned it up and it still hasn't done the trick. So let's fall back on one of the finds from the parts bin and see if this one works now. Fingers crossed. I guess the good thing is, there's fuel definitely getting there. So as you can see, just undone that uh, banjo bolt and fuel is present. So it's definitely something to do with that valve. Fingers crossed this next one works. Okay, so uh, out with the old, in with the new, new old one, but uh, hopefully this uh, cold start valve will work, so let's try starting the engine again.
is the second cold start valve that I've tried and uh, neither of those two have managed to start the engine from cold <laughs> so I now have my third and final one although these two that I did find in the parts bin you know I have no idea if they are good or bad or if they were just thrown in there so <sighs> we'll try a third one and and see if that works if it doesn't then yeah I don't know maybe buy a new one we'll see let's uh, give this one a go okay so I'm now doing a test to see if there's power at the cold start valve I've done this test before in previous videos and the light lit up so if we just connect to the negative terminal within the switch or the connector should I say connect now to this to the battery you can see we have a light so that doesn't necessarily mean there's power getting through the next next test is now to put this into the adapter or the connector should I say try and crank the engine and see if this light bulb lights up strange it tried to start it's not even connected hmm let's have that let's try that again Reconnected the original one as you can see here and uh, having read a bunch of stuff this could end up being if you can just see down the back of the engine there if I can get some light there's two connectors and that is the thermo switch I believe which provides yeah a signal to that valve to fire or not fire so it's a bit difficult for me to get to right now um, with the car being up so I'm going to continue to change the coolant and then drop the car get the wheels back on and uh, maybe we can find the issue of what I think now is the issue that no power is getting to that valve so anyway let's get cracking so back under the car is the uh, radiator and here we have the draining bolt so I will uh, drain the the coolant now and uh, yeah let's get the new coolant in <laughs>
just going to run the engine hot and uh, make sure we've got no bubbles left. Okay, we got bubbles. All the air's out. Okay, so we've run the engine till it is hot. No leaks from here, that's all solid and tight. No leaks from the bottom of the radiator, that's all good. And just release this. And no coolant loss, and it's holding at the right level. So we're all good there. Okay, so we've buttoned everything up on the coolant. Obviously the oil leak is sorted. Uh, still issues with the fuel system, but um, I think the next step's gonna be a fuel pump before I start messing around with anything at the back. But uh, yeah, what I wanna do now is start getting the front end buttoned up underneath and maybe get some wheels on the front. Finally. Also, some new bolts as well for it, so yeah, make it a bit easier taking on and off in the future. Nice and clean, both sides, ready to go.
So a productive day today, got the coolant changed, needed to get that job done, got the bottom uh, tray back on, the wheels back on, we're almost there, the front should be uh, wrapped up tomorrow, that's, that's my aim, get it back down on its front wheels. These though, the cold start valves, I'm, I, I'm still sort of in two minds about some of the tests that I ran today just to see if they were getting power and if they weren't getting power could that be the thermo switch i i'm also tempted and in fact no i am going to change the fuel pump I, i've seen that others have had issues with non-starting or rough running and fuel pumps uh, or new fuel pump has changed that for them so i'm going to go down that route you can see mine has uh, definitely seen better days so it, it would be a, a good thing to do and maybe just maybe things might start to to work better based on having a new fuel pump if not then I really do think it could be the thermo switch and yeah I need the car down on the front to to get down behind the back of the engine and and just reach it so when it was up it was a, a bit of a pig so that is it for today thanks uh, for following along and I hope you've enjoyed some of that uh yeah, some of those fun and games that I've went through today just to get those uh, bits and pieces done. But yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're on the home stretch. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching. And the next video will be along very soon.